Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at percentage discounts. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so looking at question one here, what we've got here is we've got a jacket that's priced at $80 and then you got a discount of 25%. What is the discounted price? So what we need to do is we first need to work out what 25% of 80 is. And once we find that, we subtract it from $80 to figure out what the new price is. Um, and I'm not going to lie, like, you know, being a math kind of teacher here, every time I go to the shops, I get bombarded by these questions by my lovely... I'm going to get in trouble for saying this, so I'm not going to say this. I'm just going to carry on with the questions. Okay, so <laughs> what we got is we've got to work out what 25% of 80 is first. So we're going to do 25% of 80. And again, the same thing what we've been doing before, so 25 over 100 multiplied by 80. And again, I'm just going to use the calculator for this as I have shown people before in the previous videos as to how to do this without a calculator. So I've got 25 over 100 multiplied by 80 and that's going to give me 20. So what this 25% of 80 is 20, that 20 is the discounted, uh, the discount money that's being taken away. So that means the new price is going to be 80 take away 20, which is equal to 60. Now you might be wondering, hang on, is there a way to do this quicker? Because I know that with percentage increase, you just went, you know, multiplied by 1.15. Actually, there is a way to do this with the calculator here as well. So remember, in percentage, when we actually added percentage, added a percentage, what we did was like, like let's say there's like 25% increase, right? We would go 100 plus 25, which would give us 125% which is 1.25. But if we want to take away a percentage, we would have gone 100, take away 25, which actually is 75%, and then 75% as a decimal is going to be 0 0.75. So if I had actually done 80 multiplied by 0.75, what that's already doing is it's actually removing the 25%. And as you can see, the answer ends up being 60. So that's a quicker way of doing this as well when it comes to doing percentage discounts. So let's have a look at question number two. We've got $45 that toy is costing and it's discounted by 20%. So we're going to go 100, take away 20, which means I've only got 80% of the price left. And if I go 80% of 45, that's 0.8. That's what 80% is times 45 that's going to give me a price of $36. So let's actually work this out. So if I was to do 20% of 45, so I'm going to do 20% of 45, which means 20 over 100 times 45. I'm going to do this the long method here. So I'm going to cancel out the two zeros first and I've got 2 and 10. So I can cancel this out to 1 because 2 divided by 2 is 1. 10 divided by 2 is 5. And what I'm left over with is 45 over 5, which equals to 9. So I've got to take away 9 from $45. So I go $45, take away $9, and that's equal to $36. And as you can see, I can do that very quickly by simply doing 100% take away 20%, which is 80%. And then 80% is the same thing as saying 0.8 and I could do 0 0.8 multiplied by 45, which is gonna give me 36. Of course, you can do the thing that I've done in the right-hand side of the screen in one shot in your calculator and you're done and dusted. So let's have a look at question three. Question three, we've got a $120 pair of shoes and it's discounted by 15%. So once again, we're gonna go 100, take away 15, which equals to 85%. We need to do 85% as a fraction. That's just 85 divided by 100, which is the same thing as saying, oh, I think I might have made a mistake here, 0 0.85. So let's try that again. So we've got 85, 85 divided by 100 is going to equal 0 0.85. And if I do 0 0.85 multiplied by 120, that's gonna give me $102. So that's just the answer I'm looking for. But let's work it out anyway. So we're going to do 15% of 120. So we're going to get 15 
out of 100 multiplied by 120. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is cancel out the zeros and then I've got 12 and 10. But before I do that, I'm gonna get rid of the 15 and 10 because that, I could 15 divided by five is three, 10 divided by five is two. And then now I could actually work with the 12 and the two. So 12 divided by two is six, two divided by two is one. And so what I'm left over with is three times six, which equals to 18. So now I can go 120 take away 18 equals 102. So again, you can actually do this in the calculator. So you could have actually done 15% of 120 in the calculator. So you would just go 15 over 100 multiplied by 120. And that's gonna give you 18. And then you would go 120 take away 18, which gives you the 102 or you could have just done done 120 times 0.85 which is going to give you 102 and again if you want to know how I got that 0.85 I've got a hundred percent I'm taking away 15 percent which means I'm left over with 85 percent and 85 percent as a decimal is 0 0.85 and that's how you do it so as you can see folks multiple ways of actually doing this when it comes to percentage decrease pick the one that works for you all right folks that is basically it for this video as always don't forget to like this video share this video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content now there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here great material for revision and as always thank you for watching